Hey everyone, here is an overview video of two brand new designer horses that I received today, only about an hour or two ago. These guys were ordered September 30th, 2019, I'm pretty sure. And they ended up getting shipped out on December 31st, 2019, but they didn't arrive until today, which is January 4th. Um, <clears throat> I have the paperwork in front of me so I can remember what I got on them if people are interested. Uh, so these are the Irish Draft Molds. I have one on the right who is a bay with dapples and he has two medium uh, socks on his back legs and he's got the 2019 blaze on his face. And then um, this guy is a seal bay and he has the 2019 star and he is the Tulbiano 2015 pattern. And he's got high white socks on both front legs. And he has an extreme high white sock on his right hind and a high white on his left hind. So um, just so you guys know what their colors were actually called or their patterns were called on the website. Um, I know they do alter them and change them and sometimes bring them back and then send them away again. Um, so I'm on the porch right now, so excuse the dirt and the mess. It's winter time and it's a farmhouse craziness. And so I figured I could use natural light to get a good video of these guys for you. Um, so I'm going to pick up both of them. And I'm going to spin them around so you guys can see them. Um, both of these are glossy. <clears throat> I'm incredibly happy with them. Um, and I'm super excited to have gotten these guys on sale when they were having a designer horse sale. So we'll start with the Tobiano. So you guys can see his face. But I love Seal Bay's. Um, one of my favorite colors. He's got tons of shading. He's very pretty. The only complaint that I would have is his the front of his face where like the star is it's not nearly as glossy as the rest of him so that's the only thing that I noticed but as you can kind of see it's almost like a satin finish on the front of his face but that's the only spot which is kind of interesting <clears throat> so this is what the pattern looks like I'll try to get zoomed in on his face they have very nice eyes. Super, super, super pretty. I love all the shading. So this is the um, basic version of him, meaning um, no customizations, no fancy manes or tails, just the braided mane and tail, which is, I think, the original release of this particular mold. Um, so he is super pretty. And then we'll put him to the side and we'll check out this guy. So this guy also has dapples. I forgot to mention that. Maybe I did. I can't remember. I've been chaotic. But he's super pretty. So he's just a normal bay. Pinking on the nose. Super pretty face. So I'll spin him this way so you can see his dapples.
<clears throat> so these are the Peter Stone Irish Draft molds. Um, probably one of my favorite molds that they have. I love this guy, and now I currently own four on this mold. Um, so I have these two design horses. I have a flea bitten gray called Snowman, um, and he's a braided mane and tail version. And I also have uh, Morgana, which is the black and white extreme um, custom version, which has the long mane and the long tail. Um, and that one was more recently acquired too on a sale. So um, <clears throat> I really, really love these molds. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hoped it kind of helped explain a little bit about like what markings and colors they have. Um, there's so many to choose from. You could create all different varieties of models. Um, what I do, and uh, it makes my life easier, is I find horses in real life that I like their colors um, and I save that reference photo and I try to design a design horse off the real horse. So I already have a reference photo ready to go. I don't have to go digging and digging and digging if I make like an unrealistic color or an unrealistic pattern or something that's like super hard to find in real life. Um, so that's how I do it. But with the design a horse program, you could have a blast and design anything you wanted, even if you just wanted a certain color for fun. But um, I have gotten quite a few dark or seal bays, they're called. They're called seal bays for this coloring. They do have a dark bay, which is different. Um, so this is a seal bay and that is a bay. Um, <clears throat> I've gotten one bay, like three dark bay, uh, three seal bays. Sorry, I keep saying dark bay. Um, and I've gotten a chestnut and, but I've gotten like some patterns on a few of them. So I really, really, really like seal bays. Those are like my favorite, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. 